I desperately wanted to delete the last video. Um, and again, it just occurred to me not even put a description on it. I don't think I'm going to add one. Um, it's just like I hate to like make a video and then like midway through the video, there's like you know good like you know five seconds where there's just like I'm pausing, I'm thinking, I'm like oh shit like you know the best thing for me to do is just you know hit stop record and then just like you know restart like I'm thinking of doing right now. But um well. <laughs> totally random thought I had this journaling group and like the topic of well yeah I mentioned a journaling group with one program um, I became a member of like another um, program and yeah even though it's like a journaling group I uh, figure I feel it out and um, it was a little more laid back and the topic was if I can turn back time and yeah whatever verbatim the topic was uh the first thing that came to mind was the song by Cher um released in 1989 um I remember I was in North Carolina and uh I would, I would go to the library every day uh for computer access and um uh one thing that filled my time was like I started with like I was born in 1984. Um, I went up to like you know 85 all the way up to like 1989. Um, when I was looking at Montana Fishburn, I was like the first thing I was I looked her up on Wikipedia, and the first thing that caught my eye was that the fact that she was born 1991. Um, I have a cousin who's the same age as a matter of fact. Um, I'm gonna be driving down my mom to his graduation. Um, this is right now, it's currently April next month. Uh, I graduated college in 2006, and um, yeah, he's going to be graduating, um, class of 2013. And um, hmm. yeah, I started talking about like what I was doing with like the uh, the 80s music videos, but um, yeah, I also have another. Uh, second cousin, she's graduating high school, so I wasn't going to fly down to Georgia for graduation, but my mom changed her mind and she booked my ticket. And um, yeah, you know, my initial reaction, yeah, um, it does make me realize like how much older I'm getting, um, because like, not that it was yesterday that I was graduating college, but um, yeah, um. My cousin, like, I remember, I remember going to his uh, high school graduation and, um, I went to see his college. He had an orientation before, like, you know, classes started. And, um, yeah, it seemed like yesterday I was, uh, checking out the campus and, um, now I'm going back down there to, uh, see him graduate. And I remember I was having a talk with, uh, his dad. And he was like, yeah, my uh, son came back from college and sat around the house all day afterward. Like, you know, I would have like a real big problem with that. And um, I've done, hmm, I have a lot of entries on Facebook and MySpace. And uh, hmm, as a matter of fact, my sister, uh, you know, she called me out. Well, not called me out, but basically... I could best sum it up as, like, I saw this thing on Pinterest. I mean, I'm not even sure if it's on Pinterest, but it was like a Pinterest type thing, something you would put on Pinterest. Um, like, basically, what it said was, um, there's basically, there's some people who don't realize the difference between, um, like, the Facebook status update, what's on your mind, and should I be talking to a therapist about this? Um, I know I've like jumped from like one thing to a like you know I meant to like I had like five or six points I wanted to elaborate on, and rather than just I just like you know I'll just go with the flow, and uh, fuck I was talking about I was talking about Facebook. Okay, ADD moment now. Uh, I, I'm not even going to lie and say like I'm a weed smoker, 
even though 420 has just passed. Um, <laughs> I hate when I lose, like, you know, I'm thinking about something and then, like, I just lose my train of thought. Um, speaking of which, the last time that happened, somebody gave me a line of crystal meth and he purposely did that so that, like, he would, like, throw me off. And, um, totally going off another tangent. Um, one thing I hope to aim as one thing I aim for as like a writer is to like like create like there's this um book I read um it dealt with um Aldous Huxley and it was like the doors of perception as well as there was like another um it was like one book but it was like you know two books from one but like all together was a small book but this the second like part two talked about or, or they both more or less dealt with like his experiences with like mescaline and like I would more or less like to experience that as a writer and not even like you know I mean it would like more or less be for myself that I would like you know look upon it and it would like like there's some people who say that you know you can have that like acid experience without like taking acid and um like the best thing i can compare it to is like you know a movie that like really blew your mind and it's like you know naturally it's like whoa um you know that's what i aim for in my writing um something i hope to accomplish um I mean, it would be easy to, like, take some mushrooms and then, like, basically, like, I remember I took some molly on New Year's and, um, like, I went on Facebook and, like, I made, like, two or three, you know, journal entries and at the time, like, you know, not to say that, like, I thought it was, like, some sort of, like, Shakespeare I was writing, but... You know, I thought it would be something, you know, similar to, like, um, an entry I wrote after, like, taking mushrooms. But that was, like, more of something, like, it kind of took me by surprise. And I more or less was like, okay, I got to, like, you know, go home and, like, write about this, like, life-altering experience that, like, you know, one can only hope for, like, once in their lives. Like, you know, something that, like, is never going to happen again. I mean, at least in the point where, like, I was really caught off guard as far as like, I mean, there was a there was one time where like I experienced weed, like after my freshman year of college, and basically, like the chorus, the lyrics that were in the chorus, the comfortably comfortably numb, like it was all in my head, like you know, visually, and I mean, not, I mean, it ain't occurred to me to go home and, like, um, get on my computer or, or, like, you know, you know, do it the old-fashioned way and just, you know, write about, you know, that experience, you know, so I can, you know, just, like, have it be a snapshot. Um, like, I go on MySpace sometimes and, like, I see journal entries I made about, like, eight years ago in 2000 five and going back to even 2004 and you know sometimes I go upstairs in my room and see stuff you know from like one day I have to take some mushrooms and like go through like my hideaway closets and like you know look through like my journal entries that I made in like kindergarten and you know stuff that you know my brother has like you know because He's got his crap up there too, and just like really have that, you know, because I have things I've made like, like I remember coming across like my, my like fifth grade. It wasn't a yearbook; it was more or less like an autograph book, with just like a bunch of blank pages, and like you know people like signed off on it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take a break, go to my fridge. I'm not hungry, but I'm desperately thirsty. I like to know my voice. I should have like a bottle of water next to me, but um, yeah, I don't know if I want to make any more videos, but uh, yeah, in case this is the last one.
Peace out.